Hi, this is Jim Clary with AirModTraining.com. In this video, Sarah is going to describe how to download EPA's executables, AirMod executables of software. Again, like to emphasize, as we've said before, these are all publicly available or official EPA um, executables that you will need to run through the um, examples and actually comprise the whole AirMod system. As we described, you can do everything with uh, these and we will use these executables throughout the remaining uh, videos in our series. So, I um, just want to suggest to you that you make liberal use of the pause and backspace on your video viewing so that you can follow along with her. Again, I think that's one of the real advantages of these um, online videos is that you can pause them, go back, and um, they're always there for your reference. Without further ado now, I'll turn this over to Sarah as she walks you through the executable downloads. And I wanted to thank you for visiting the AirMod Training YouTube channel and suggest, um, if you haven't already done so, that you subscribe to our channel so that you will be advised of new videos as we put them on. I'm Sarah with AirModTraining.com. I'm going to show you how to download EPA's AirMod Modeling System executables in this training video. I have File Explorer open to the M drive. You can see that I have the EXE folder here. This is where I'm going to save all of the executable files. Going into the EXE folder, you can see that there are separate folders for each part of the AirMod Modeling System, and each folder name has the version number of the program for quick reference. First, we're going to download AirGrid from AirModTraining.com. This is available on the Downloads page. Click on the button that says Free AirGrid Download, and you'll be prompted for your name, an email address, and you'll also need to agree to the software license agreement. And then click Submit to AirMod Training. Right click on here and then save target as, and we're going to save it in the AirGrid folder under the EXE folder, and then save. The executables for the AirMod modeling system can be downloaded from EPA Scram website, and we have a link to this under our links page here. And we're going to use this link here for the AirMod modeling section. The first section is going to be to download the AirMod dispersion model executable. So go down to Model Code and right click on the executable, Save Target As, and we'll go up to the AirMod version. And you can see the version numbers do match here. So go into AirMod and select Save. And so we have a link here to the AirMet program. AirMet is first here. So again, right click on the executable, save target as, and then navigate to the AirMet folder. AirMinute is just under AirMet, and here's the model code. So right click, save target as, and select the AirMinute folder. So to get to the other programs, we're actually gonna go back to air quality models, and then dispersion modeling, and then the the other supporting programs are going to be under related programs here. So the first one we'll download, we'll just use the quick link here to AirMap. So under model code, we have the executable. Save in AirMap. Then actually the next one on the list is for AirPlot. So we have the executable here. Then we have Air Surface. And next is BPIP, but we need BPIP Prime to run with AirMod. So that's the next section here. So our, go to the model code again, save target as, 
and save it in the BPIP Prime folder. So that's it for downloading the zip files. Now we'll go and unzip all of the files. So first we'll have AirGrid. So right click and hit Extract All. And you can see we have two folder names here that are the same. So I'm just going to remove the second one. And you can see that they're lined up in that folder now. So next we'll go to Air Map, right click, Extract All. And again, we don't need the second folder name here. We'll, we just want it all located in the Air Map version 11103. Next is Air Met. So again, right click, Extract All, and remove that second folder name. Then we have Air Minute, Extract All. For Air Minute, you can see they have the version number and the file name. Next, we're going to go to Air Mod, right click, Extract All, and again, delete that extra folder we don't need. And next is Air Plot. Right click, extract all, and delete the extra folder file name. Okay, and this one was a little different. It has a folder here. So I'm actually going to go in and move all of these up a folder. So I just control X to cut them out and then I'm going to paste them so that they're directly under the AirPlot version 13.329 folder and we no longer need that folder anymore. Next we'll go to Air Surface, right click and extract all and delete the extra folder name. Okay, our last zip folder is for BPIP Prime. Immediately under each directory, you should see the exe or the executable file. And typically, EPA names their executables with the program name. However, there are a few exceptions where they add the version number to the end of the file name. Now the executables are ready to complete the example run. If you run into a problem with any part of your AirMod modeling project, we offer online AirMod training help that you can purchase from airmodtraining.com. During our session, you'll be able to ask us any question related to your AirMod modeling project. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training, so you'll be notified when we upload any new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.